What is up guys, Faded here and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I have my review of the all new Lenovo Y50. I reviewed this PC before in the past and I've told people to go ahead and pass on it for its lackluster screen and slightly limited performance. But today we're going to go ahead and see if that still is the case. And for those of you who are just now learning of the Y50, let's go ahead and take a look at its overall design. The body is brushed metal with a unique look to it. The artificial vents on the rear give it that nice gaming look along with a stylish backlit keyboard. It comes with all the standard ports but it does lack some newer connectivity options like Thunderbolt. A 1920 by 1080 IPS panel and also of course right next to the power button is the much appreciated Lenovo recovery button. This saves you in the event of viruses or any other form of system corruption. Complete with a 720p webcam and dual microphones, a touchpad, and speakers complemented with a subwoofer at the bottom. And at the bottom right are the badges which show you and the others the power that is within this PC. This model uses an i7-4720HQ for heavy multitasking jobs including video editing. And to help with that is 16GB of DDR3 RAM clocked at 1600MHz. A 1TB 5400RPM HDD with 8GB of caching SSD. This is also a hybrid drive so that is one thing to note. Now 5400RPM is not really acceptable to me so they do lose some points here. Also in the build is a GTX 960M which is the main attraction and probably what you're here for. It performs quite well in all the latest games but think of it as a lower performer in a group of new GPUs. It's great but it does struggle with a lot of heavier tasks like Fire Strike. High fidelity games like Battlefield need to be somewhere around medium to high settings in order to keep it above 60 FPS. But it's a brand new GPU on the new Maxwell architecture so it still has room for improvement and optimization. The IPS panel does complement the gaming experience really well by using extreme color accurate pixels and no noticeable light bleed. Though at 60Hz tearing is still a bit of an issue here so V-Sync or adaptive V-Sync is definitely required. Now the sound quality is nice but it's nothing to lavish over. The subwoofer adds what most laptops don't though. It's pretty standard quality to me but no negatives here. Now as for the overall experience of this PC it's nice but it's a bit sluggish with that 5400 RPM drive. Games play well and open programs run extremely smooth but loading into a battlefield map takes about 5 minutes. Way too long. And with this I do come to my final conclusion and that that is that Lenovo has sort of traded one issue for another. They upgraded the core hardware and made it a lot beefier, and they also gave us a display that can be much appreciated, but the HDD kind of halters all that a little bit. But to be fair, I went ahead and chose to make my decision not based on the HDD. If you do not pay attention to the HDD, then this is a really great PC and it's well worth the money. Performance is top notch and it will work well as a cheap workstation PC, but when pricing for your budget, I would look into replacing the HDD with an SSD or at least a 7200 RPM drive. Other than that, this is a fantastic PC. PC, which I've had a great experience with and I think you will too. And anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and make sure to take a look at my other gameplay videos if you want a better idea of its performance in game. Also be sure to like the video and subscribe and you guys have a good one.